In this class number 3 we are going to talk about the refrigerant R32 and its work pressures. Let's start by saying that the most frequent use that R32 gas has is in the air condition for air. For this application, generally the temperature is very close in the evaporator to 5 degrees. For this temperature of 5 degrees Celsius, we are going to have a pressure close to 129 psi A. Higher than that of the refrigerant are 410A. In the case of an air conditioned equipment, the high pressure, the equipment being on, for an temperature close to 30 degrees Celsius, we are going to have a high pressure of 350 psi, a little. Then there are 410A. On the other hand, when the equipment is off, that the pressures are leveled, both the low and the have the same value, we are going to have a pressure close to 260 to 265 psi. These would be the characteristics of the work pressures. We also have to know about the refrigerant R32, which also works with chicken oil. But here we have to understand something. As the R32 is a pure refrigerant, it can be charged in both liquid and gaseous phases, there is no. But with respect to oil, we have to say that they usually work with a little less viscosity than our 410A, although it is something general, because we must pay attention to the viscosity that the of the same compressor stipulates for that model. However, when we get an average of the generally those viscosities do not exceed 68. It usually does not exceed 68. What is this data for? It serves that in case we are going to change the oil of a compressor and we do not know which one. Replace, we can know that most models do not exceed the viscosity of 68. Perfect. This viscosity is very important. In all refrigerant gases it is very important, but in the R32 it. An essential role. Why? Because the R32 has many capabilities. For example, it has a very low global heating power compared to its other competitors like the R410A. The GWP of the R32 is worth 675. That makes its use for equipment that is intended to have a long useful life very attractive. That is going to be used for many years, it is going to be a large investment in equipment, so that important the GWP, because it guarantees that we are going to have the refrigerant gas for a long. But not everything is perfect with the R32. Not everything is perfect, because that is where we are going to relate it to viscosity. The problem of the R32 is the discharge temperature. Let's understand this concept. When I talk about discharge temperature, I am not referring to the high temperature of the... I am referring to the temperature that the gas has once it comes out compressed from the... We know that it suctions at 129 psi with a temperature of 5 degrees Celsius. And we know that it discharges at 350 psi. But the temperature, not that of the capacitor, but the temperature that comes out of the... It is usually a little above or very close to 100 degrees Celsius. Very close to 100 degrees Celsius. This is problematic if we compare that in most gases the temperature is below 80. That is, we are going to have a differential with respect to other gases quite high. So, if we lose the viscosity, if we lose the viscosity with the temperature, we are losing it. That viscosity is going to go down. And then the resistance to flow is going to be lost. The resistance to flow, which is the viscosity, is being lost with the temperature. It means that the oil quickly goes to the points where it has to be. Where it has to be lubricating, it is going to go with the high temperature. So, for that it is important to respect the viscosity that the manufacturer stipulates for that. For example, with the P68, which is the majority that uses the R410A and the R32, it is also maintained in this range. We are going to ensure that you have a viscosity. Enough for when the temperature is high. But, in turn, when the temperature is low, it also flows. There we are going to talk about an important concept called stability. 
Stability Index of Viscosity The stability index of viscosity is a property that oils have. It is not viscosity. It is the property that refrigerant oils have not to change. So, if we are going to replace the oil of the compressor that works with a 32, it would be very important that when we are going to buy the oil to observe not only the viscosity, but to observe if the viscosity index is greater than 100. Because an index of viscosity greater than 100, it does not mean that that viscosity is going to be maintained, both at low temperatures and at high temperatures. It will be maintained at the value of 68 in case the selection is of AP68. We can say that the R32 is a little more flammable than the traditional refrigerants. Like the R22, the R134A, the R410A, the R404A. It is more flammable, but much less flammable than pure hydrocarbons refrigerants.